Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here tonight to answer one question that I got. So it's a one question Q&A. I have found that most of the questions I get are things that can take up a whole video for a few minutes. We're going to try not to make this last too long. I like that because it's going to give me a chance to explain some things to you and I find it's just easier to explain it on YouTube via video than to type it all out and you don't really get to know how I feel about things that way because you can't tell feelings in typing. So my question that I'm going to answer right now was why do you post stop and shop deals when there are none around here? There are no stop and shops in Maine or New Hampshire, but there are a lot in Massachusetts. And I do have a lot of followers from Massachusetts, so that is why I post the deals. So I thought I'd take a few minutes to explain to you how I decide what goes on my blog. First of all, most of you know that I personally post deals for Shaw's and Alice posts deals for Walmart using printable coupons. Trisha posts deals for Walmart using insert coupons plus she does Whole Foods and she does some of the drugstores and she throws in things like free samples and other things that uh, just gives us more than just deals to look at all the time. I decided to take on Dollar General, Market Basket, and Shop and Shop. So I'm going to try to do those four stores including Shaw's myself forever. No. <laughs> When I started blogging in, I believe it was the very end of August of 2011, I started couponing in April of 2011, and by the end of the summer I decided I'm going to have a blog. I was getting out of my sewing business, and I thought it might be a good time to transition into something else. So I was very, very fortunate that my blog, I was able to monetize it early, meaning I applied to a few affiliates, and because I had done enough posting and uh, they liked the looks of the blog or whatever, even though it was just new, I got accepted by a couple affiliates, and that's how I got started. I was able to make money the very first month. It was very little money, but I made some money. So it was just me alone for, I want to say, pretty much over a year. I used to cherry pick the deals and people that came to my blog would know that they could find just like the best deals out there. I would just look around at all the other deals, pick the very best ones, things that were free or very, very cheap. So I would might have like one post from CVS and one post from Shaw's and just a variety of stores, but only the best deals per store. Since blogging was to be my new business, my new way to earn money, I obviously couldn't really Rely on just a few posts a day because that doesn't bring in enough. So I took on help and I also needed help because I have my granddaughter in the summer and I travel a little bit. So I needed some help so that the blog would always have deals on it even though I myself am not able to do it. I took on help and it was a big transition and I know it was a big transition for my followers because they suddenly went from having a few very good deals a day to look at to a bunch of not so good deals to look at. And some of you weren't too kind when you let me know that you didn't like that. And I remember your names. You know, even though you get a lot of people saying all kinds of wonderful things, it's those ones that say bad things, especially if they include bad words. That I can speak only for myself, but I have talked to many bloggers who feel the same way. I mean, you feel like you feel like you have to listen to those who are mean and rude, and because you think everybody else must feel the same way, but they just didn't have the guts to say it. Well, I've since learned to just ignore the people who say mean things because, first of all, anybody who says something in a mean way shouldn't even be given the time of day. I did have some others who expressed their concerns for the direction my blog was going in, and they did it in very nice ways, so that's always more helpful. One thing, though, that I noticed is that many people, and this, again, is not just my 
experience, but a lot of bloggers experience. Many people seem to think that somebody who is running a deals blog should not be making money by doing that. And I belong to a frugal blogging group and they don't even want people to know that they earn money. I think it's ridiculous for you guys to think that I sit at this computer from morning till night, seven days a week, and not make money. How would I support myself? I'm obviously not working anywhere else. This is my job. Do I like what I'm doing? Yes. Am I doing it because I want to be kind and helpful? Well, yes, of course. I don't pick jobs that I don't like or that I don't think are helpful to other people. So I am passionate about it, and I earn money doing it. I have to. There's no other way that I can support myself unless I want to go get a job outside of the house, and that's not feasible for me at this time. Yes, I make money on the blog, and I'm not going to be ashamed to say so. And if you think that people who do jobs that are helpful to others should do it only from the kindness of their heart, well, go talk to your doctor and see how many patients he would help for free. <laughs> He's doing a job where he's helping a lot of people, or she, not just he, and um, they get paid, and I get paid too. So that is one of the reasons I had to go from a wee little dinky blog that was showing you just the best deals to a blog that shows you a lot of deals, because one of the ways that I make money with blogging is with the actual coupons. Not all the coupons are monetized, but most of the coupons are. And a lot of the deals that go on my blog are not monetized, meaning I post stuff that I feel I want my readers to see. I don't just say, is this a deal that's going to make me money? I don't go by that. I can't have readers following me if they're not going to find the blog interesting at all. So we post a variety of stuff. But even on my blog, it doesn't matter just what I post. There's ads in the sidebars, and there are other ads that um, I generate an income with per view, meaning if you just go to my blog, period, I might make a few pennies just by the fact that you opened up my blog. There's ads there that will pay for impressions, they're called, just for the fact that you came to see the blog. So there's a lot of ways that I make money on the blog, and I don't determine what I post just because I want to make money. You know, I don't even do much of the online selling thing, because even all those I can earn for promoting Amazon, Walmart, all those things. I'm affiliated with companies that will pay percentages of the sale to almost any store that you can think of. But I don't go and just promote something high-end just to make the commission because I'm not a high-end shopper. I don't expect you to be. I mean, I promote stuff that's nickels and dimes. So when I do online deals, I pretty much make nothing. And I'm talking nothing. I'm talking like maybe just a couple bucks a month. So you can see that I do a lot of work that I do just because I like doing it and I want you guys to get good deals on things and not because I want to rake in the box. So with that said, because coupons are a big part of my income, we have to have coupons out there. If I take over Stop and Shop and Dollar General and Market Basket and still do Shaw's, that's just a way for me to get more coupons out there. So I'm going to be posting those deals. And what I want to tell you guys is... Don't ignore deals on my blog just because it's a store that you don't shop at or because you think the deal's not that good. You should be looking at all the deals because you might find a coupon in that deal that you will recognize as a good coupon to use at whatever store you shop at. For instance, Stop and Shop, they double coupons, so I will be posting a lot of deals where they double coupons. If you're a Shaw's shopper, you will want to look at my Stop and Shop deals and say, oh, look, she found a 75 off one coupon for that deal. I'm going to print that for Shaw's. I appreciate it very much for all of you who print coupons from my blog. I Again, I'm not going to apologize for baking my living this way because I have to pay for heat, I have to pay house taxes, I have to pay for lights, I have to pay for all these things. My internet, my camera, my lovely haircuts, <laughs> which you know are free. <laughs> If you want to keep me in business, then, you know, you'll support the blog just by visiting us 
as much as you can. Just that in itself. You don't have to print coupons to help make this work. But all of you together have really, really helped. And, you know, again, knock on wood, I was very, very lucky that within just a few months, I was able to completely give up my sewing business and make it with my blog. And I am very thankful for that. Like, I mean, thankful like you would not believe. And it's a very scary business because it can go away at any time. Affiliates back out. They can pull out at any time and say, we're no longer paying our affiliates for this program or whatever. And I've had some very, very big setbacks along the way. And some of the affiliates are not even, you know really always trustworthy. There's horror stories of bloggers being ripped off. A lot of money where affiliates just close their doors and don't pay. So, you know, it's scary and it's not a for sure thing. So I can only take it day by day and just hope that we can carry on. That's the reasons that I put what I put on the blog. I try to bring you things that I think you are interested in. I do know that there are a lot of deals that go on the blog that you would say, that's a crappy deal. And I agree, it's a crappy deal. But some people only have certain choices of stores. Some people might live miles away from a Shaw's or a Walmart, but they have a Hannaford next door. And I do know that sometimes using a Campbell's Soup coupon on a can of Campbell's Soup at Hannaford doesn't make any sense when the store brand is still cheaper. But there are some people that just do not want to buy store brands. They want the brand names and so those coupons and those crappy deals are for them. But again, look at all the deals because you might find a coupon that you will like to use somewhere else. When I first started following bloggers, I used to follow bloggers from other states that had stores that we didn't even have. I followed bloggers that did Kroger, Publix, all kinds of stores and followed their deals because I would find coupons through them that would, you know, be something that I could use at Shaw's. And you'd be surprised how there are coupons in certain areas that hardly ever get posted because our particular stores just don't ever have the sale. So if I just waited for only every good deal out there, you guys would never see the coupons. I try to make sure you guys see all the coupons because I want you to be able to decide for yourself what you should and shouldn't be printing. With that said, I do on my blog, which is DarleneMishu.com, I do try to every day post the newest coupons that just came out because I'm able to see those things within the affiliate programs and I also try to let you know which coupons on coupons.com are going to disappear that day. Those are the only ones that I know are going bye-bye, but for the coupons that are just out and just new for that day, I can tell you that with coupons.com, Smart Source, Red Plum, Hopster, Ibotta, um, and now Saving Store. I'm excited. That was just added to one of my affiliate programs. Saving Star too, but that's a, another video. I will tell you about my little experience with Saving Star soon. So I just wanted to take this time to explain to you a little bit as to how it all works behind the scenes of a blog, how we get paid, how it's important that we still get paid. You can help. Somebody else did ask, is there a way that I can help your blog? Does it help to do anything? Hey, you know, print the coupons. That's all I can say. And I also have still the Simply Shaw's blog, and Shauna is the one that basically runs that. I also post on there, and I'm involved in Shauna's group, uh, Shaw's Coupon Gossip. And, uh, you know, if you print coupons that we post in there, that helps. You know, it's just it just helps, keeps us all a one big happy family. It allows me to continue to do this. If, you know, if something were to happen and all the affiliates would just shut down, would I still want to, to post deals? I mean, I, I would, but I would have to get a job somewhere, and it just would not allow me the time to do what I do. It is time-consuming to do it to the extent that I do it. I literally work at least 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, and pretty much around the whole year. I mean, I take a little bit of time off here and there, but even when I take time off, I'm working. I find a way. Just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. It's been over four years for me now, and it's still going strong. Knock on wood. I hope it continues. I do appreciate all your support. I love wonderful, kind comments. The mean ones, not so much, but really, when I get some bad comments, I feel embarrassed for the person saying them. 
Like, I just got a comment the other day. I didn't even know what it meant. But I posted something, and I got a comment that was K-Y-S. And I thought, K-Y-S. I mean, I know I know the general, you know, O-M-G. And, like, what's K-Y-S? I couldn't figure it out. So I went and looked it up online. You know what it stands for? Kill yourself. Somebody told me to kill myself. I was like, you know... Gee whiz, talk about extreme. It's like, really? I don't know. I don't know. People are just strange sometimes. I'm not going to listen to a comment like that. I appreciate you watching my videos so much, and uh, I like this little back and forth chit chat, except there is no back and forth, right? It's only in my mind that I think you talk back to me. <laughs> you know what I mean. I just hear voices. But anyway, thank you so much. Please thumbs up if you can and subscribe to this YouTube channel of mine. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Bye!